Now, the ANC Free State's ninth elective conference is finally underway in Bloemfontein following major delays. Yesterday, registration had to be halted after disgruntled members disrupted proceedings. Now, the spotlight is on who will emerge victorious, of course. As you'll remember, the province has been operating on an interim structure. And ENCA Smoloko Moloto is on the ground covering this story and the proceedings for us. He joins us now live from Bloemfontein. Now, Moloko, who are the people to look out for, especially for the position of chairperson? Well, good, good afternoon, Byron. I must uh, confirm that the ANC Free State Conference managed to get underway earlier today. This, of course, is after a day-long delay. We know that it was supposed to start yesterday, but there were disruptions of the registration processes, and as a result, the party could not register the delegates who are supposed to be forming part of this Congress. And that, through their, 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 their conference, kind of like in a disarray, because they have had to suspend all the activities that were meant to take place yesterday, including the keynote address, opening remarks ah, by yeah, the yeah. ANC National Chairperson, Guadamandache. And uh, he only delivered that today. Of course, the conference is supposed to nominate and elect the people who will constitute the top five of the ANC in the province and also additional members of the PEC. We know now that um, Mkulisi Dukwana, who is the convener of uh, the interim provincial committee, has an interest. He wants to contest for the position of chairperson. Another person that, at least up to now, we know had an interest in contesting for that same position is the former mayor of Mangawung Metro, Tabo Manyoni. But the premier of the province, Sintombela, also has an interest. And uh, there's also the name of Vusi Chabalala, who was previously the mayor of uh, Maludiapofum, and also the current MEC of uh, education, Tate Mehwe, we understand that his name is also touted. Of course, there's also the other name of Sam Mashinene, who at some point was the deputy chairperson of the ANC here. We don't know up to so far, Byron. I did try to ask Mr. David Matrobo, who is a National Executive Committee member, um, leading the team here, just for them to outline for us as who among those six leaders or any other leader perhaps who are interested in the position of chairperson who among them has managed to reach the threshold in terms of the nominations coming from the branches david matrobo said that process will first have to be outlined to the conference and um, before we can even know about it i understand now that they will outline it even during the open session when the nomination starts. Of course, those who would not have met the, thresh the threshold from the branch nominations are, in terms of the ANC constitution, they still have an opportunity to be nominated from the floor. And if they get 25% nomination, they will be eligible to contest. What is happening up to so far, perhaps, uh, just to say what has happened first, the opening remarks by the national chairperson of the ANC, Godem Andasha, was done, and the political report was outlined by Mkolisi Dukwana. My understanding is that now, because it's a closed session, the organizational report is being tabled by the coordinator of the province, um, uh, Pasika um, Nombo, Nombondo, I, I beg pardon. So, in essence, the conference is fully underway. Um, Moloko, now, you know, speaking of Gwede Mantashe, um, he mentioned in his speech um, earlier today, uh, of course, the opening of the conference, he said, a beginning of a new slate for the ANC in the Free State. Um, he also urged the new provincial ANC leaders that will be elected to assess both local and provincial governments in the Free State. Please explain more about that.
Uh, Malok, I don't know if you, if you heard me there, but if you can, um, just, you know, speak on Gwede Mantashe where he was Perhaps urging the let's, new... Uh, um, dissect what the yeah. national chairperson of the ANC, Gwede Mandasha, said because he first started by weighing in on uh, the remarks that were made by the former Secretary General of the ANC, Ace Mahashule, yesterday, who said that uh, the current Secretary General, Figile Mbalula, is a boy. He says that he nurtured him in terms of politics. So. Gwede Mandasha then weighed in in defense of Figile Mbalula, saying that he does not even think that Figile Mbalula must respond to that jab by Ace Mahashule. Instead, Gwede Mandasha said, look, if you groom somebody as a leader and you come back uh, years later and say he's a boy, that doesn't speak to the person you say he's a boy. It actually speaks to you as the person who claims to have groomed that a particular person. But of course, Mandasha also weighed in on many other factors. Um, the issue of the paralysis that uh, is here in the province uh, in terms of the branch, the quality of the branches in the ANC. But what also was interesting was Mandasha urged the delegates and the leaders that would be elected out of this conference saying that they should actually consider making an assessment of both the local government and also the provincial government. That what I found interesting uh, because I'm not too sure whether he's saying that Sisin Tombela uh, did not do a good job or is not doing a good job as the premier, but uh, that was also reiterated by Policy Dukwana when he delivered the political report and said there's a need to assess the performance of the provincial government. But, but maybe before we even proceed, let's listen to Gwede Mantashe as he was addressing those remarks by Ace Bakashuni. You told him as a secretary general, the village in Indo, the city, he's just a boy, he's just a boy. I equal a boy, a secretary general. This province has given us a secretary general. We must appreciate Now, you know, I was talking to a few NEC members, the city, within Land of this is a boy. I said, if I was Mbarula, I wouldn't respond to that. You know why? When I mentor a young man, and then I see him as a young man forever, <laughs> he doesn't talk about that young man, he talks about me. It means I constitute a cul-de-sac. I must be able to produce people and they grow and overtake me and they become my leaders. Then I'm playing my role as a leader. But I don't want to get into that space. Uh, it's your space. From where I'm seated, comrade, Mbalula is not a boy. He is the Secretary General of the ANC. Well, uh, Moloko, of course, you know, um, this ANC conference has been marred by violence, disruptions and everything. So it seems like processes are um, underway there in the free state. Um, but just tell us a little bit more maybe about the program for the rest of the day. I know you said it is a closed session right now. All right. Unfortunately, Moloko can't hear me.